on this drawing, I purposely left out these uh, openings where the eye is. This is uh, behind the snout. Here's the nostril here. This is the area behind the eye where the jaw muscles would attach and go into the lower jaw and neck muscles would come this way. So I purposely left those so I could add reference marks here. I just want to kind of roughly carve out where that eye socket is. This is just, you don't really see this. This will be covered with muscle and tissue. This is the part behind the nostrils where also jaw muscles would attach, the muscles that control the breathing, the opening and closing of the nostrils. Uh, the nostrils will be right there. And then I'll turn that around and do that same, those same reference points on the other side. And I wanna make sure from the top that it roughly matches the same marks I put on this side. Check, check. You don't want one to be back and one to be forward. These are just basically reference points for right now. The eye will not be that far in. It will, you know, the skull's going to be widening. Okay. I snag that to do the same? Yeah. Now, on the skull, it's con a little con confusing. This is like the first vertebrae would attach right here. This plate behind these horns, this is where the muscles from the neck would attach, and also here on the sides. So you've got neck here and here. So uh, we want to outline the back of the skull. So it, the back of the skull would kind of come from the bottom of that horn to about here. There's a little point here, and then dip down to the attachment with the lower jaw. So we can just rough that in knowing where the eye is. Horn's about right. The back of the horn is about even with the back of the eye socket. It's a little bit farther back. Then this will come down to a point like that. And then this way, come in. And then drop down to the back of the jaw, actually be more like right here. This is all, again, this is all rough. And then the lower jaw sticks out a little past that and comes down that way. So we're gonna rough this in now. I just wanna add, but make sure when you add, you're adding the same on the other side. I already added a little bit here on this top. Yeah, you can see a little bump here. I'm gonna add the same thing here. We know that that point of that skull is right there. We lose our eye socket, but that's okay. We know it's still right there. Now the top of the head, you'll notice, is narrower, and then it widens out at the bottom for the teeth. So this would be the top of the snout area. It's narrower. There's the two nostrils. These are these two openings here. And then the lower area where the jaw is here is wider when you're looking from the top view. So let's widen that out a little bit. Sorry, my head's in the way there. There's no really any rhyme or reason where to start. I, I don't, you know, sometimes I just like, I see something and I work on that. But what I try to do is if I do one side, I try to do the same thing on the other side, just because uh, you want things to be in balance. In balance. And uh, 
not lopsided because if you get too far on one area on one side and then you go to the other side and go oh how did I start that what did I do you know so I've added a little on this side at the lower jaw wait let me add a little more here Okay, so I've roughed that out on that side. Now I'm gonna get some softer clay and do the same thing on the other side. Ow, ow. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Yeah. If it get, the, the part that's closest to the light bulb gets it's pretty hot. All right, uh, I don't know if you can see this from the front. I've kind of just roughed in just the side here. Don't worry about, don't look in here yet, the inside. Just, uh, we'll just concentrate on the outside right now. <laughs> 